Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Zero, and welcome to Crow Scare, an RPG Maker horror game from the creator of It's Not Me, It's My Basement, where you play a supposed scarecrow that's not supposed to go out at night. Let's see, warnings, yeah, blood and gore, etc., etc. Okay. Yep, typical stuff. Yes, I think that's all I need to do right now. Oh, you got a cool design. It's all, it's all festive -y. Pick out the biggest pumpkins in the southeast patch, chase away all the birds, and check on Haley. After that, come talk to me again to figure out what to do next. Oh yeah? And what are you gonna do, Dad? Hmm, I'm gonna sit here and rest. I have to save my energy for the Harvest Festival after all. You're like... You're like a, a pumpkin version of Vincent Valentine. Come on, you can't even spare a little magic for me? Just this once? Sorry, Ryo. You know I have to save my energy. If it's been all helping with the farm, I'd have none left for the Harvest Festival. But you're my little champion. You can handle it, right? Unless... Huh? No, yeah, I am the champion. No, we are the champions. And my friends. I can totally do it. I've done it before. You can count on me, Dad. I'll do it lightning fast. Fast as you can cast any spell of yours. <sighs> I thought so. If you need help remembering what to do, just come back and ask me. Or, you know, you could just write down that journal I got you. I haven't seen you use it since I gave it to you. Why would I write it down when I have you right here? Alright, alright, fair, either way. I'll be waiting right here. Yeah, I didn't think you'd be moving very far. But I'll get it done now. Good boy. I have another shower for you after, so don't forget to come back to me once you're done. Got it. Move using your arrow keys, etc., etc. Typical controls. Hey, look at scarecrows over here. Oh no, Haley! Have the birds pick picking out all your straw again? Don't worry, I'll fix you up. You're all fixed. All better. Oh, Haley, you're not very good scarecrow, are you? Hmm. What else do I have to do? Um, explore. You don't have to go inside right now. Pick up the biggest pumpkins in the southeast patch, chase away all the birds, and check in Haley. Southeast patch, big pumpkins. Birds, get out! Bark! Boo. You don't scare me, kid. Whoa, you can talk! Yeah, what about it? Oh no, I, I, nothing, I mean, I've met plenty of talking birds before, I just... Why are you hanging around my farm acting all shady? That's kind of weird, isn't it? Look, kid. I'm trying to help you. Something bad is coming. Huh? What is? Listen, kid, you're in a horror game, okay? Do you know what happened to the last kid in this horror game series? You're looking forward to that Harvest Festival, right? Yeah, why? Someone wants to ruin it for you. Worse than you can imagine. But I think if you're careful, you can make sure it turns out okay. Uh, alright. Why are you telling me this, though? Because kids like you are the ones who need a better understanding of dangerous situations. But hell, even some adults can't recognize that some birds are too big to scare. But you're just a little bird. Shut up. But keep your eye out, kid. Stay away from the forest, alright? I'm gonna go in the forest now. Because I do the opposite of what you tell me to do. Hopefully this is the only time we'll need to speak. So be careful. You won't have to see me again. Roar. Bork. Baga. Excuse me, this is my house, not yours. I'm the IRS. Well, that's all the birds. Is there anything else I have to do? Look for secrets? Look at them pumpkins, which I'm not gonna look at right now, because I'm gonna look around and see if I can kind of story break, or, uh... Not quite sequence break, but... You know... Secrets. Large pile of hay. Don't think about trying to jump in. Hey, what do you accuse me of? That's the last straw. A bucket of resting water. The bugs love it. It's true, they do. Be big. Sizable pumpkin. Look at you. I'd have trouble lifting you if I wasn't so strong. Are we? Orange pumpkins are always the best ones. Don't tell the other pumpkins I said that, though. We heard that and our feelings are hurt! A sensible pumpkin. You make a great jack-o'-lantern. Or a great pumpkin pie. Mm. Well, you're perfectly round. I bet everyone's gonna be fighting over you. 
These look like all the biggest pumpkins in this patch. Do I have anything else left to do? Actually, I think that's it. I should go tell Dad I'm all done. Dad, are we all gonna die? Dad, Dad, I finished everything. Already, you're so fast. I knew I could count on you. What do you mean to do now? Here, I packed up some mini pumpkins for you to bring to the library. They want to decorate the windowsills with them. You know how to get there, right? Of course I do. It's the green building close to the main street's entrance. I have no idea where that is. They got all the yellow pumpkins in front now. That's right. You're such a smart boy, Ryo. Of course I'm smart. I could take care of the whole farm by myself. <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself. You still get tangled in the hose every now and then. Well, that's just because uh, I'm small. Oh, but I'll deliver these pumpkins lickety split. To the librarians, I said I. Nice pumpkins. A friendly scarecrow of dapper apparel. Whoops. Window only offers you a small glance into the inside of the store. But it doesn't look any different from normal. Friendly scarecrow. People. Hello, peoples. I'm a scarecrow. You're not actually worried about that, are you? I'm pretty sure the old witch tales are just to scare kids. You don't exist! Yeah, you're right. They're probably just trying to spook kids to getting home and going to bed on time. Still, though, it's hard not to feel at least a little unnerved by it. So anyone who's moving is a, uh... No, you're established characters, right? I think so. Let's see. Necrotary! Hi, Rio. Yeah. Yeah. Rio, it's so good to see you out and about. Hello, Miss Mafuma. I like your sweater. Thank you, you're such a sweetheart. Rio, Rio, we're just about to get dinner. Do you want to come with? You're always welcome to join us, you know. That sounds nice, but uh, I'm running chores with Dad right now. Maybe next time. Aw, oh, can't he just do it himself? I want you to come eat with us. No, not during the Harvest Festival season. Dad, uh, he, you know, Dad can't walk. Wait, for reals? I thought you knew. That's why he's always floating when you see him. And just float over there. I thought he did, just did that for fun. Nope. He uses some weird levitation magic to get around, something like that. But whenever the Harvest Festival rolls around, he saves up all his magical energy to make a fireworks show for everyone. He doesn't move, move around much to save as much magic as possible. And that's where I come in. I always help him so he doesn't God strain himself for nothing. Oh, that makes sense, I think. But we'll still get to play together during the Harvest Festival, right? Yeah, of course. I'm really excited. This is actually going to be my first one. No way, really? Don't you, like, live here? How come you never went to one before? Isn't it like a yearly thing? I remember coming in for the festival before we were friends. It is. I just, uh, I'm always in bed by sunset. Huh? That does seem a little early. I know. But farm work is tiring. Plus, Dad says the nighttime can be dangerous. But he's also been saying he thinks I'm strong enough to handle any dangers at night now. Yeah, you don't want to go out at night. That's when anime fans come out. I'm not even joking. So I'm really excited to be outside during the nighttime for the Harvest Festival too. It's gonna be a blast. In that case, I can't wait to see you there. Are you the uh those two are always up to something? A statue dedicated to the goddess Luciana. Luciana is a goddess of nature. On Harvest Night, her chalice is said to fill itself with moonlight. In return for such a wonderful drink, Luciana grants a plentiful harvest season for everyone. It's almost your day, Luciana. I came in to be able to celebrate the Harvest Festival with you. I bet moonlight tastes delicious. Hello there. You all look fairly familiar. Embry. Oh, hi, Rio. Nice outfit. You look, uh, what's it called? Sharp. <laughs> Thank you, I picked out myself. You got great taste, Miss Oliver. <laughs> Thank you. Hello there, Rio. How's your father doing? He's good. Preparing for the Harvest Festival. Is that why you guys are in town? No, we were just passing through. But since the festival is happening, we're probably going to stay in town for a few days. I want to see if your mom and Dr. D. Where's Dad at? Is Dr. D. Dad? Dr. Dad? No, okay. 
Dad is looking for someone who can fix the current. It broke down as soon as we entered town. Hmm. But you're like a nurse, and your name is Dr. D. So like... Is it just a persona of the dad? I don't know. But at least... Wait, no. You're wearing a mask. But at least we have other festival to look forward to. While we wait for it to get fixed. Yeah. I think you have a mask. Even when there isn't a festival, you guys should stop into town more. I miss you when you aren't here. I miss you too, Ryo. Maybe one day we can travel together. Ah. Without us? We miss you too, you know. Gee, Embry, how come you get to have three parents? I'm just lucky, I guess. Yeah, really lucky. Ryo, did you say something? Oh, no, no, just speaking to myself. I'll see you guys at the festival. Have a great rest of your day. I'm a scarecrow. My life is pain because I'm made of straw, I think. I don't know. It's so lovely to be here during the autumn. Positively delightful. It's always good to see you again, Rio. I mean, I'm not really worried about. No one ever goes in the old woods anyways, right? Except me, pretty soon. And I don't believe in those old superstitions anyways. No way, you two. It was a strange thing. A small black bird told me to steer clear of the woods. Secretly, that black bird is hiding the pirate's gold. Like, I'll spread the tail. And I was gonna get away with it too if it wasn't for you meddling, um, scarecrow, person who puts people in the basement, vampire, and bear, I think. Okay, can we go in all these? Terry's gardening supplies. You stop here with Dad sometimes, we need to replace something on the farm. In the day or season, Terry always seems to have freshly cut beautiful roses on display. You're sure you must be a magician of sorts as well. It always seems to nice to Clay when you ask him. Cash's Bakery? Even though you've never been able to attend a harvest festival before, Dad always brought you back treats to enjoy the next morning. They always taste delicious, but you're excited to be able to get them fresh this time. The Town General Store. Whenever you come in here, Mr. Washu speaks to you, sneaks you a piece of candy from the counter, even when Dan insists to him that you've got enough sweets at home. I suddenly like thought of Tenchi Moyo. The store isn't just candy, though. It's got a lot of everything. But you mostly come here for the candy. Thank you again, Rio. No problem. And that's where we had to drop off the stuff. Clothing store. You're almost never in here. Anytime your clothes get here, you just patch it up. No use of wearing nice clothes on a farm, after all. What about the, uh... The, the stereotypical farm dances you must do? The town pharmacy. You don't really come here a lot. Whenever you're sick, Dad just makes you some kind of health potion and take care of it. But of course, you can't always do that for everyone. So having a pharmacy in town is still helpful. In fact, you're pretty sure they buy health potions from your dad sometimes. Potions. Maybe you want to make them too. You can supply them with some of your own. Let's go home. The sky looks so pretty. I can't wait until I can watch the entire sunset. It's truly a sight to behold. After the Harvest Festival is over, you can sit here and watch with me every evening if you'd like. That sounds nice. Do you really have to wait until the Harvest Festival, though? Can I just watch the whole sun with you right now? I just think the night of the Harvest Festival will make it all the more special. And I want your life to be full of as many special memories as possible. Don't you? Yeah, I guess so. How was your trip into the town today? Did the library like the pumpkins? Oh yeah, they loved them. Oh, and you'll never guess. I saw both Embry and Necroteri today. Really now? How wonderful. Tell me about it. Um, Embry was out with her mom and Dr. D. Oh, how was her mother doing? That's funny. She has the same thing about you. Huh, how kind. Anyways, they were passing through town, but their cart broke down. But while it's getting fixed, they're gonna stay in town for the festival. That's wonderful. Well, not that their cart broke, I suppose. But I'm happy you'll be able to spend time with them again. Yeah, Embry's so cool. I love when they're in town. 
and Necrotary. Oh yeah, yeah. She was out with her mom too. They invited me to dinner, but I told me you need help here. Oh, you didn't have to do that. I would have let you go with them. You're good about getting home on time. I know, but... I like eating dinner with you too, Dad. That's sweet. You're a sweet kid. Um, Dad? Can I ask you something? Of course. Seeing so everyone out with their moms today, I was just wondering, are you ever going to tell me about Mom? Rio, we've discussed this before, haven't we? You don't have a mom. I made you from straw, magic, and a block of my hair. Why, the only difference between you and Haley over there is that you can talk. That's what you always say. Do you really... Do you think I... Do you really think I believe that? I don't know. They are a wizard. Everyone may call you powerful, but even I don't think you can pull off magic like that. I never, 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 never ever heard of anyone bringing someone to life through magic. Huh. You think I can't do it? If you can, then show me. I want to see you do it. Hmm, no thanks. One kid is enough for me. Haha. <laughs> um... Is there anything else you need done before the sun is finished setting? Hmm. Well, I do need some mushrooms for a potion I want to make. But they only grow in the forest. I'll get them myself tomorrow. Huh? But Dad, what about your magic? I thought you needed to save up energy. I can spare a little to go into the woods for an hour. I could get them for you, Dad. That way you don't have to worry about it. No, no. I don't want you to. The woods are dangerous, you know. There's rumors of an evil witch who lives there. I hear she eats children. It's not gonna be my mom, is it? <sighs> yeah, right. But the evil witch people talk about is just you. Don't make jokes like that, Ryo. Woo! Ah! Sorry, Dad, I didn't mean it. Really? Don't worry about it. I can get them tomorrow. It's fine. Okay. And, and, I love you. <laughs> I love you too, Dad. It's almost time for bed now. Why don't we go inside? I'll have other stuff for you to do tomorrow. Let's get you to bed on time, and I'll see you in the morning. All right. Dad's asleep. I can totally go and get those mushrooms. Dad's been saying himself that I've grown strong enough to handle any dangerous things at night. I bet he'll be extra impressed by me if I show him that I can go get the mushrooms on my own. And he won't have to waste any of his magic either. The forest is right next to the house. So even if I get a little lost, I don't think I'll be too far from home. Now all I need is a lantern. I don't know a lot about the night, but I do know it gets dark. Real dark, apparently. But whenever Dad needs to see something in the dark area, he takes out an old lantern to keep things light. He even taught me how to use it. And it should be over... Ah, oh, there we go. Now all I gotta do is get out really quietly. Whoa. This is... The night? It feels so weird. If it's night, the night up there must be... The moon. Yo, what's up? I'm the moon. Um... Huh? Ah! Oh crap, we are a scarecrow. What is this? My hands, it's Fred. What happened to me? Dad. Dad really, he was really telling the truth, huh? Maybe I had to like, wait. Then you make him like, it's like Pinocchio, like become a real boy! He knew that everyone out at night, I'd see that. I, I really am a scarecrow. Yes! They have magic, they can fly! But, I, I don't understand. Dad, he always told me when I was a scarecrow, even when I didn't believe it. When I thought he was just kidding. So, if this was never really meant to be a secret, why was I never allowed to go out at night? Because you ruined the ritual. It's weird. I feel so different, and yet, it still somehow feels like myself. What am I waiting around for, then? I'll go get those mushrooms. Haley smiles warmly on you. Looks kind of smug. This smug scarecrow, it taunts me. 
mean, we kind of like glow, like we are our own walking lantern. Hey, look, it's that crow. Can't go back and get those mushrooms. Oh, I'm going south. That kind of made me weird out, because like you go north, but you come in from the south, so it's like, oh. Hey, kid. You stupid. Hey, it's you again. What are you doing here? You gonna pass your bedtime? I gotta hide my pirate gold. Hey, how'd you know? You should go back home. That witch I talk about, she ain't no joke. Oh yeah? Just go home, kid. I will. I just gotta get some mushrooms for my dad first. Bear game quickly then. Never have an option just not going. Huh? What was that noise? That was me? I didn't even feel it. I really am just all straw, huh? I see. This must be why I wasn't allowed out. If this tree was any bigger, my whole leg would empty out. No, no, it's okay. Dad was gonna start letting me go out at night for Harvest Festival anyway. So then, he must think I'm big enough to take care of myself. I won't be scared by some little scratch. I'll, um, I'll just shove the straw back in and cover up some mud. Then sew it back up once I get home. Yeah, that'll work. I can handle things at night and like this. Even Dad thinks so. Right? Why'd you become, like, more humanoid again, and then you just start bleeding out? Like, that's it. Like, you're done. So that was a major artery in my human form. <laughs> oh no! Don't wander too far. I won't. Just a bush. The woods are dangerous, but we're the witch who lives here. Huh. These are your warning signs. Yes, I, I think they are, in fact, warning signs. An old backpack lies on the ground. The inside is empty, like my soul. The strap is broken. I guess I didn't think it was worth fixing. But you're not even going to take it back home with you? Don't stay in the woods too long. She's outside more than you think. You were the witch, don't harvest the woods alone. Witch lives nearby, tread carefully. Hey, Crow, what's up? Are you following me? <laughs> no. Why would I do that? No, man, you kind of like you were worried about me before. <laughs> You're imagining things if that's what you think. Why are you here then? I'm not. I'm leaving right now. Maybe there's any time to fighting the crow. Many times. Being wicked this way lives. I think they don't want me to go this way. The witches just could be a squatter. It's like, I've farmed these lands forever, and you, you know when kids come out, and you're like, you take my cheese, you take my candy, I just want some property rights. I rightfully own this land, check my deed. A dangerous witch lives past this point, best to turn back. Nah. What's this? Half of a shirt lies here, it looks like it's been torn. This reminds me of when I ripped my shirt climbing up a tree. I'm sure this is here for a similar reason, huh. Here we go. Looks like you found the mushrooms. Looks like you found them before I did. You could've just been looking together, you know? Can you just take your mushrooms and go home already? Maybe you're a familiar of the dad. I am, jeez. Caught him! Ho oh ho! That wasn't too hard at all. What? What was that? Sound like a tree fell. I'm like, I want an Ian. Let's just let him go home then. Oh, you know what fell? The bridge. Oh no! That noise, the trunk fell! I'm gonna get back home now. Now what's this? Who was that? You're... A little scarecrow boy. That's new. Please don't eat me. I'm nothing but straw. That means you're connected to the, the witch then. The, the crows. Because you're raven. Um, themed. And he can't go back the way he came through. No path to return to. In cases like these. 
I think a bridge will do. Oh, you're a nice person. Are you my mom? There you go. Let's follow it. Let's go home now. Oh, good morning, Dad. Good morning, son. Oh, good news. Huh? Turns out I don't have to go looking for mushrooms today after all. When I was checking for the cabinets today, I saw some right in front. I was certain we had run out. But I suppose I was just overlooking things. Oh, yeah, silly Dad. You just weren't looking hard enough, haha. <laughs> they... are the mushrooms you needed too, right? Yep, I've got everything I need. See? I told you you didn't have to worry about it. Uh, yeah. Anyway. What do you mean to do today? I'm watching them make hay bales of the small piles of hay in the northwest field. Chase away some more birds. And check on Haley again. You can do that, right? Hmm? You can always ask me if you forget anything. And come talk to me again after you're done, okay? Okay. Working on the hay. Let's fix you up. You know, this is a little weird after my discoveries last night. I won't think about it too hard. Scarecrows are made of hay, people! Time to screw you up. That's all a little haystacks. Now, what do I do? Yo, what's up? It was really stupid what you did last night, kid. Hey, it's you again. Do you have a death wish? Are you talking about the witch? Is that who you wanted to warn me about the other day? Because you didn't need to. She... she was nice to me. She helped me get back home. That's because she didn't have anything she wanted. Huh? You're only straw and fabric. No use in killing a stupid scarecrow. I don't understand. Of course you don't. Because you're just a kid. So be a good kid. And don't sneak out at night anymore. Looking for, like, some good organs, some good blood. What are you doing? Get out of here. Bark, bark, bork. Meow. Well, that's all the birds again. Is there anything else I have to do? Check on Haley again? Something about Haley looks different today. They're angry. Well, all your straw's in place, but... I'll see you later, Haley. What else did I have to do? I should think that's everything. I should go talk to Dad again. I finished everything. Wonderful. I knew I could count on you. Hmm. Hey, uh, Dad? Yes, yeah, son? Um... Can you tell me about the witch? Who lives in the forest? Oh, I'm sorry. Did mentioning it the other day scare you? You don't have anything to worry about, Ryo. Even though we live quite near the forest, she can't get near here or the town. Yet. Really? Why's that? That witch, you see. She isn't just a witch. She's a crow, too. That's why we have so many scarecrows, don't you know? They help ward off evil spirits. They clean nasty old crows. Really? Then how come I always gotta chase the birds away myself? Ha 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 I guess that's just because you're the best scarecrow there is. Mm, yeah, I am pretty great. But, uh... So, there really is a witch, then? Who lives in the woods? And we're sure she's evil. Well, she's good. I wouldn't know it. I've never seen her myself. If you can believe that. Maybe she really is just an old wives' tale. Or maybe it just means our scarecrows are doing a good job. Yeah, I guess so. You aren't worried about it, are you? Oh, no, no, no. I mean, I've never seen her before, either. So I guess everything's the way it's supposed to be. Mm-hmm. It was all right. I have a few extra errands for you. Yeah, of course, Dad. It's like you said, you can count on me. For starters, I'll need you too. Dad's asleep. Don't psych yourself out, Ryo. I gotta see her again. Why? I... I have to thank her for helping me yesterday. No! And if she can't come to town, then... I have to go to her. She's gonna make you be like, You gotta tear up all the scarecrows, child. I mean, 
visit a town for Halloween. I wish to give everyone gifts. It'll be okay, just like yesterday. Or maybe the twist is she's a nice person. Who knows? She found me pretty easily, so she can't live too far, right? God. Look, look at her. Talk to, look at Haley. Haley's face is sunken. Haley is smart. Haley doesn't even have a brain compared to you. She almost looks like she's frowning. But, and Haley is judging us. Let's go into the forest. You'll find some bad choices right where you left it in that forest with that witch that's going to probably make you do things that are bad. It's you again. Didn't I tell you to stay home? You're not my dad, are you? Yeah. What would your dad say if he saw you doing this? Son, I am disappointed. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm already outside. I just want to thank her for yesterday. That's all. If you had just stayed home, this wouldn't even be an issue. But what about you, then? It doesn't seem like you're ever home at night. <sighs> Whatever. Now gotta listen to me anyways, right? Fine, then go ahead, see if I care. But don't say I didn't warn you. It's this way, right? Yeah, it has to be. I'm sure I'll make it there soon. Huh, what's this? I hate you. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. I hope you die and I hope it's because I kill you. Jeez, what's all that about? Maybe they did have a relationship. The dad's like, playing coy and it's like, ah, I, I don't know if they exist, yeah. Fire will not burn our bridges. Fire will bring them together. That's normal. Another bridge. The witch must really love bridges. A bridge witch? No! A, a, a bridge? A witch? No, neither of those sound right. Hmm, you also tend to pumpkins. Oh. The little scarecrow boy from the other night. How did you get here? I followed all the signs that said, Don't go here, which lives up ahead. <laughs> those silly little things. I never bothered to take them down. I have no idea who put those there. But yes, I suppose that's me. I am a witch. I suppose that's why I don't get many visitors. Well, except for you, it seems. What about you, little scarecrow boy? I've never met anyone like you before. What are you doing here? Oh, that's because I have something for you. What's this? A flower? For me. How sweet. What is this for? You're helping me get home the other day. I would have been stuck in the woods if it wasn't for you. <laughs> I see. Thank you very much. Though it is quite late for a visit. Do you always come out at night? Do your mom and dad know you're out here? Oh, uh... My dad doesn't know. I would get in trouble if he did. And your mom? I don't have a mom. I see. Would you like one? Huh? Huh? I apologize. That must sound so sudden. It's just... I've been alone out here for so long. Why? I can't even remember the last time I saw another person. And it's just... Just... Forgive me if I appear a bit emotional, it's just... I had a child. Once. But children don't stay children forever. And that child grew up. And left me here on my own. Oh! You could be a grandma, too. Ever since I've been, well... Having a bit of empty nest syndrome, as they say. Your generosity. And your kind smile. It just reminds me so much of my own little one. So... I wouldn't mind if you wanted to come back again. Why? You could come visit me every night if you like. That's also why the the dad was very sensitive when he mentioned, like, yo, maybe they're thinking you're the witch. It's like, no, you know nothing of my childhood. I can make extra in the share, and you can help me cook or read my library. Or play in the yard. It'd be like having my little one back home again. Do you like that idea? Yeah, I really like that idea. Wonderful. 
Well then, let me ask you one last thing. What is your name? Oh, I'm Rio. What about you? I'm Vena, but... You can call me Mom. Dear Journal, Dad got you for me a while ago, but I never used you. It's not that I didn't want to, I just didn't have anything exciting to be writing about. But now I do. The witch that people says lives in the woods. I met her. And well, she's my mom now. During the day, I help on the farm and spend time with Dad. But when it's night... I sneak out into the woods and visit Mom. I really like it. I help her around the house like I do with the farm. But it doesn't feel like a chore. She always has new stuff to find, like the first time I went there I found... Well, here's the inside. Please forgive the mess. I'm not used to, well, any company at all. Had I known I'd be having a guest, I would have tidied up a bit. I think it looks great in here. It reminds me of home. Well, I'm happy to hear it. Here, I'll prepare some snacks for us. Feel free to look around. Um, you can eat, correct? Being made of straw and all. Um, I think so? I never really tried it yet. <laughs> all right. I guess we'll see. Make yourself at home. What a box full of unknown contents. There doesn't appear any kind of way to open it. A table of white tablecloth. It looks well kept. Oh, that's my cauldron. It can be used to brew potions and other things, but... I think I just used to make soup for dinner. <laughs> An old sack of hay. The cabinets are full of normal kitchen supplies, but nothing useful right now. What with the claw mark? That's my bedroom. I'll let you look, but I honestly isn't much to look at. Just my bed, really. Cabinet full of ordinary items. Looking for secrets. Secrets. Taking someone next to a tree. That's an old storage room. I'll let you look inside, but I don't want you to get hurt. I have a lot of garden tools and heavy furniture. I'd like to clean it out before I let you in, if that's alright. A painting of a crow. Cabinet full of ordinary items. The door is different color from the rest. Yes, that was my old son's room. The door broke one day and we had to replace it. Bloodwood gives us a nice red color, does it not? I'd let you in, but I'm afraid it's locked. I lost the key myself a long time ago. But there's nothing important there anymore, so it's not a big deal. Secret. Which bathroom? A stout bathroom sink resting in front of a dusty mirror. Both cold and warm water run fine. No toilet. You don't have to go. One box full of unknown contents. There's a lot of scratches around this house. An old bathtub. Sure is a lot of scratches. A little curious. I'm cutting up some fruit for us. It's been a while since I had to share food with someone. It's about spells and potions. I'm looking up a drawer. Reading it says. To read and to write is a powerful tool that should not be overlooked. There's so much in words. There's so power in words. Power is not all. There's sadness in words. There's joy in words. There's fear in words. There's comfort in words. There's sadness in the voice of my beloved, telling me their feelings have vanished. There's joy in the cards I received from my birthday, remembering how much my friends care for me. There's fear in the sign that tells me, danger beware. Yet I always find comfort in the yellowed pages of a book. Grandfather clock is missing its hands. Tall cabinet, way too tall. A bright yellow book rests atop the shelf. Open it up, it seems more like a general of line spaces to write in. There's writing in here. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. The alphabet seems to be written over and over in a variety of different ways. But it seems like a general of line space to write in. There's writing here. My name is Ingram. Someone's written their name here multiple times over. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Hmm. A pile of old hay sacks. What's this? I found a big pile of hay sacks sitting in front of something on the floor. I wanted to get a closer look, but before I could, I heard Mom say... Rio, I finished preparing everything. Come sit with me, and don't look in the basement. Oh, I'll be right there. So I went to go eat with her. 
Well, I hope you like apples. They're in season right now, so I have a lot stored up. Well, these taste delicious. Thank you, uh... Mom? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not used to saying that. <laughs> I'm sure. I know it's certainly been a while since I'd heard it. It feels nice. All my friends have moms, you know. And I never thought that one day I'd get to have one of my own. I understand. I never thought I'd be able to have a child again, and yet here we are. You know, I should introduce you to Dad, too. But, uh, I had to figure out a way to do it without letting him know I snuck out at night. He always told me the night could be really dangerous. But look at me now, out at night and totally fine. Your father is right to be concerned, you know. There are many dangerous things in the night, and even more so out in the woods. Really? Then why do you live here? Because I'm stronger than all of them combined. Really? You must be a super powerful witch then. <laughs> you flatter me. But I don't think so. I'm strong enough to handle the things that go bump in the night, but... Not as strong as I'd like to be. How strong do you want to be? Because, like, my dad's a pretty strong witch too. You brought me to life after all. I can see that. If you want, I can ask him how he did it. Then I could tell you and you could get as strong as he is. <laughs> That's sweet. But I think I'll be okay. I have my own plan to get strong, and it won't be too much longer before I can see it through. If you say so, I guess. But if you change your mind later, let me know. <laughs> well do. I said and finished the rest of the apple so far, and then I went home. She said she'd try to be more prepared for my next visit. The next time I visit her, I asked her about. Ugh, that didn't work either. I'll never be able to make this potion. Sure you can. It isn't that hard. Why don't you try again? If you're feeling confused, you can always ask me for help. Okay. I still get one order to put the ingredients in. It really isn't complicated. We just have to remember a few simple steps. It's hemlock root before cobwebs. Cobwebs come before water lily. Hemlock root comes after brown caps. Hemlock root is also before brimstone, and brimstone comes before cobwebs and water lily. Oh, and of course you need to put a thistle in before everything else. See, that's not too hard to remember, is it? Uh, kinda. So how about that, uh, basement door? You know, cause like, basements always have good things in this series. Good stuff. Thistle. Round cap. Hemlock. Grimstone. Cobweb, and then water lily. Hey, I think I did it. See, I told you it was easy. You'll be next with potion. Make her in no time, just like your mother. You think so? I made some potions with Dad in the past, but he'd always only let me make really specific recipes. I think he doesn't think I'm ready for the more advanced stuff yet. How silly. At this rate, you'll be an expert in no time. Come over here now. Help me these potatoes for dinner. Hope you don't mind that dinner has only been fruit and vegetables lately. It's hard getting good meat out of here, and I usually try to preserve what I can find for a special occasion. I don't mind. I actually like salads and stuff a lot. Um, Ven- I mean, Mom? Yes? Can I ask you something? Of course, go ahead. There's a lot of scarecrows back in town. I was told to keep you away. Hmm. But I'm a scarecrow. Do I, like, hurt you or something? Oh, no, no, dear. It's true that the scarecrows keep me away. But you're just one little scarecrow. And such a polite one, too. With a smile only someone as cute as you could pull off. You'd nothing I can't handle. But the amount of scarecrows in town, my, it's just nauseating. It feels like every home must have one or two sitting outside. I can't stay around that many scarecrows for so long. I'd get terribly sick. I'd collapse, which is why you need to go destroy them for me. I see. Don't give me that look. Like I said, I can handle a little scarecrow like you. But I want you to be able to see everyone in town, too. I'm not sure about that yet. I'm sorry, Ryo. But I think it's clear they don't want people like me there. Crows? Gross. I felt really bad about that. I'm sure the townspeople would like Mom if they got to know her. Or they'll all die. Maybe I can convince them to take all the scarecrows down. Then they'd see she's not bad at all. She even saved me from the nightmare I had. She don't know, I'm not sure what I should write about. I hear that writing things down can make you remember them better. But something happened last night. I had a nightmare, I think. I don't know what else it could have been. 
Even Mom said I must have just been sleepwalking. But it felt so real and so scary. I can't stop thinking about it even after she told me it wasn't real. It all started last night. I was getting ready to come back home and sleep until morning like I always do, but... Here we go. It's raining. Oh my, sounds like quite the heavy storm. Mama, what do I do? Scarecrows get all soppy in the rain. How am I going to get home? Well, I'm not sure if you can. In that case, you can stay here, though, if you need to. I clean out the storage room to remove anything dangerous. And there's an old bed in there, too. But what about my dad? I'm always in bed in the morning. If he sees I'm not home, he's going to freak out. I'll get in so much trouble. Hmm, I see. How does this sound, then? Sleep here for tonight. And right before the sun rises, I'll come and wake you. Then you can run along home before your dad wakes up. Does that sound okay to you? Hmm, I guess so. You promise to wake me up on time? I promise. And you also tuck me in? <laughs> of course. Mom took me into the storage room. It was a bit cramped and there wasn't any windows. But there was a bed there and it felt warm and cozy. She told me she would come back to wake me up in the morning. Then she left and I went to bed. And then it started. Huh? So there's a lot of scratches around here. Oh shoot, my lantern. But that scream, what was that? Mom? It's not a nightmare. Creates a large crack in it. Maybe it's something to pry it open. The lantern is shattered. You don't want to get too close to the broken glass. The dad's going to notice that. So where's my lantern? Pain looks different than before. Pain looks different than before. There's a piece of paper on the ground. She's found my own writing. She hid them from me, so I can't look at them anymore. She want me not to do it again. She's like, you old hag, I'm already smarter than you think. Door's locked. The bedroom. Mom, where are you? It's really dark out, but at least the rain stopped. Is mom somewhere outside? That scream. I'll go look for her, but... I don't think I can get around just from the moonlight alone. I need a lantern. But I broke mine. Maybe mom has something I could use. It shouldn't be too bad, right? All we need is a lantern and lamp oil. Watch well, just a pretty golden trim. Large bed, it's empty. Cabinet full morning items, books. A book lies on top of the dresser. And in it reads, The world can be as way you wish it to be, if you wish for it strongly enough. However, it never hurts to ask for a little outside help. Feed your wishes to the gods and they will feed you in return. Hmm. The bathroom has been filled. Drain it, yes. What's this? A knife? I can take it with me, I guess, but I need to be really careful holding it. Yeah. Maybe I can, like, open that one box now. Slice and dice. The trap door on the floor here. I wonder where it goes. Hmm, can't get open though, it's locked. Oh wait, there's a spot to input numbers. Do you know what numbers go there? Run the water, yes. Which temperature? Hot. The mirror fogged up. 6428. Okay. There we go. Slap. 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 Stab. That's kind of fun, murdering potential scarecrows. Hey. This painting is so lively, it feels like his eyes are following you around the room. Bright yellow book rests atop the shelf. Library, library, library. Mr. B works at the library. Mr. B's a librarian. He just gets out of read and write. I wish Mrs. B was my mom. Hmm. Curious. Potions. Hey. What's going on here? There's a piece of paper on the ground. No one is safe traveling in the woods. Not as long as she is here. They're all doomed the moment they set foot into the forest. I set up signs to warn them. I don't know if she knows I'm the one who's doing it. Even with warning, it's still too late for some of them. 
At least find solace in believing their ghosts will haunt her forever. Yeah, I'm saying. Like, the dad... Uh, the dad, um... Was her son. And he's like, Mom, you suck. You eat children. He's like, he's like oh, it's like, There's nothing wrong with eating children. A ladder. Where can I use this? He's like, No, Mom. You can't eat the children. And then he set up a bunch of signs, set up a bunch of scarecrows, and he's like, Hey. No more. The drawer, is there something inside? Crowbar! Gordon Freeman! It's kind of small though, can I use this anywhere? Next, we can use the ladder over here. Yeah, we can use the ladder here. There's lamp oil. Now I just need to find a ladder to go with it. Let's see what's inside. What are these things? Are these clock hands? Then these must go... to a clock. Hey, Grandpa, I've got something for you. The clock's hand magically moves himself into place. The time reads 12.05. That doesn't seem right, but I must not have to argue with a clock. 1205. The color of the scrolls was something red. It smells terrible. Ugh, even Dad's worst potions don't smell this bad. What kind of potion is this? Potions. So it's filled with strange magical greens and vials. Looks familiar to stuff that Dad has it back at home, and yet, you've never seen some of these things here before. Door's locked. Do you have the time? Door unlocks. Yeah. Free chair. Lantern. But first, the book. There's a book on the dresser. It seems to be some kind of recipe book. It reads, How to Cook Man. Two, seven, eight, two, six, seven, eight bones, rather. Nineteen and a half gallons. There's about thirteen in total. But you can always add more and drink whatever is left over. Hmm. Yeah, a lantern. I can use this lantern. And then I'll, uh, go look for Mom outside. Whoop. A skull so sure that you can't recall seeing in this room before. The amount of pain seems different than before. The eyes have been clawed out. Maybe you just couldn't see well in the dark. It's okay. Don't freak yourself out. It's gonna be fine. Mom said to herself that she was strong enough to handle anything out in the woods. So I'm sure she's okay. Let's go. Yep. That's, uh, Little Red Riding Hood is dead. Ah! Rio? Ah! Rio, what's wrong? Are you alright? Th th there's... There's what? Fresh meat? Of course. Outside, there's... Dead! Someone's dead outside, Mom! Pardon me? She's on the tree and she's all bloody and she's not moving. And I think she was attacked. I heard her scream. I thought it was you and I got scared because I tried to find you and... Then... Calm down, Rio. Let me see. There's no one out here. Rio, there's no one out there. I told you. Huh? But she... Come look. Okay. It was just like she told me. There was no one out there. It was just a forest. But how can that be, Magic? She was right there, I saw her. Is it possible you were just seeing things? Huh? You said you heard a scream earlier, right? I didn't hear anything all night. But I think maybe you were just sleepwalking. Sleepwalking? You probably just had a nightmare and snuck on over here in your sleep. It was probably from all the stress. You wanted to go home to your dad, didn't you? Right. I suppose it's only natural to be afraid staying here. Oh, silly me. Trying to be a mummer again. I'm not fit to be a mom anymore, am I? No, don't say that. I love coming over and spending time with you. I think you're right. I was just having a nightmare and you're totally not collecting bones. You know, it isn't raining anymore. And the sun is supposed to rise soon. I can only take you up to the bridge, but... Would you like me to walk you home? Yeah, I'd really like that. Thanks, Bomb. She walked me home and everything felt normal again. I went to bed, woke up, and saw Dad in the morning like normal. I guess it really was just a bad nightmare. But I never had nightmares like that before. Dear Journal, I'm going to visit her again tonight. I have to because I won't be able to see her tomorrow night. Tomorrow night is the Harvest Festival. 
It's only starts at midnight tonight, but we always wait until the next night to have this actual celebration, the festival part. On harvest night, you're supposed to spend time with the loved ones or whatever. And then you start the actual harvest festival on the night that follows. I think it's silly, but I don't know. Holidays are always kind of weird. I already spent the day with Dad, and now I'll spend the night with Mom. So I'm glad that way I can still kind of celebrate with her too. Haley looks saddened. You screw it up, kid! I'll be back soon, Haley. I know we'd include you in all our Harvest Festival activities, right? Hey, you're back. I haven't seen you in a while. I know what you're looking for, kid. You want something subversive, right? Everyone talks about an evil witch in the woods, so you wanted to befriend her and prove them wrong, right? And then it turns out it's all one big misunderstanding. She was a good witch after all. Or maybe she was bad and just took the kindness of someone else to make her better. That's what all the storybooks teach you, right? Tough luck, kid. Doesn't work like that in the real world. Sometimes people are just evil and there's no helping it. And all the second chances in the world won't make a difference. You keep saying this kind of stuff. But I don't understand. She takes bones! You saw it! Red Riding Hood had her bones removed! Ever since I met her, she's been nice to me. She helped me get back home. She cooks me dinner. She teaches me stuff. You have no bones to take! You have hay! And what do you do for her in return? Huh? No good favor goes unreturned. She's gonna make you pay her back for those favors one way or another. And I don't think you'll be ready for when that happens. I've given you the extent of my help. Whatever comes next, I hope it works out in your favor. But I don't think I can stick around and see it. Goodbye. And good luck. Mom, I'm here. Sorry if I was late. Happy harvest night. Happy harvest night to you too. Can't wait to harvest some bones. And no worries, you're right on time. I'm still getting dinner ready. I'm almost finished though. So you can play around for a bit if you like. Or just sit at the table let me know when you're ready to eat. Gonna snoop as usual. So, are you excited for the Harvest Festival tomorrow? Mm-hmm. It's actually gonna be the first one I'm allowed to attend. Even my friends are gonna be there. <laughs> Sounds fun. Hey, are you okay? Oh, yes. I was just thinking that one day I would like to be able to attend, too. See, here's the thing. If they are related indirectly, Scarecrow here would have some, uh, basically DNA from the dad based on their maid. Maybe that's the key to, like, getting rid of the, the Scarecrow barrier. I'm sure we can make that happen. I mean, once everyone in town realizes that you don't mean any harm, it's... Ha! Yes, maybe one day. All those wasted bones stuck in their bodies. Still, though, I'd like to contribute to the festival somehow. Some way. So I made something for it. Oh? It's this. This vial. The liquid inside looks like the red stuff from the cauldron I saw the other night. It smelled awful. The town. There's a statue in the center, right? Of a goddess holding a chalice. Do you think you can pour this vial into the chalice she holds? It's a good luck charm. I made to ensure a wonderful harvest season for everyone. And me, harvesting their bones. Oh, uh, I, I don't know. I mean, tonight the chalice is going to fill up with moonlight. And it's supposed to have the same effect. Plus, um, I'm not supposed to touch a statue, really. It's considered very sacred, and, um, uh, if I touch it, I can get in trouble for, uh, vandalisms and stuff. Please, Rio. I spent a long time on it, and it really means a lot to me. You don't even have to come back after you do it. You can just go to bed at home. It really isn't a big deal, you know. I doubt you'd get in that much trouble. And I've done so much for you, haven't I? Can't you do this one favor? For me? For your mother? After sh all she's done for you? Take the vial. Yeah, of course I'll do it. I mean, it's just a good luck charm, <laughs> right? There shouldn't be any harm <laughs> in it. Maybe we'll even bring us extra luck <laughs> this harvest season. It will get giant pumpkins. Oh, I knew I could count on you. Go now. You should fill it before midnight tonight. 
I know the results will be so wonderful. I'll be able to see them from here. I promise you. Go on, then. I'm so excited. Okay. Okay. No one's out here. All I gotta do is come up with a statue, pour this in, and now just go home like she told me. Look, see, all the scarecrows are angry. I know it's nothing bad, but I still feel nervous about it. And for the scarecrow of Dapper Apparel... Let's do it. That statue looms above you. Somehow her pose doesn't seem as jovial as it usually does. Hello, Miss, Miss Luciana. I've got a drink for you. You climbed up on the statue and filled the chalice. There you go. It was a present for my mom, so I hope you like it. I'll see you again for later for the Harvest Festival. God, this is just gonna go swell. This is gonna go great. Good morning. Hmm? Huh? It... Is it still nighttime? Why haven't I changed back? Dad? Dad, are you home? Where are you? Huh? What is this? What happened to the farm? The sky? So... Bloodborne. What's going on? I gotta go down. I gotta find someone. I gotta find Dad. Blood surrounds the grass near Haley's base. Her face is missing. Her body appears weirdly fleshy. Haley, what happened? What about this? Is it blood? A bucket of something. Can you go in the forest? I'm just curious. No, you have to go into the town. So everyone's gonna be dead. Because of poor life choices. Yeah. This is, uh... That's no good. The goddess is covered when it appears to be blood. The description on the plaque has changed. It reads, You have fed the goddess your wishes for the harvest season. She's delivered upon the season you wished for. May your harvest be as plentiful as you hoped. Oh, we delivered her blood. This crocodile's face is dripping of red substance. Its body appears strangely fleshy. Something hangs in the window. The signs of the window seem to imply they're on sale and for a great deal. The signs describe them as being meaty, juicy, and delicious. It's locked, but you have a haunting feeling you don't really want to go inside anyway. Same dialogues in all these. A poor pumpkin. Same dialogue. The library was important to the dads. So let's see if there's anything different here. No. More hanging. Mom. Rio, there you are. Mom, what's happening? I can't find my dad or anyone. What happened? What happened? The harvest festival is happening. A grand start to an incredible harvest season. And it's all thanks to you. Look at all. Isn't it beautiful? An endless supply of food. An endless celebration of the finest ambrosia one can ask for. And of us, running it all. I've been waiting here for so long. Time and time again, I wondered if I even made the right choice. Choosing this place. They all said it wasn't worth it. That I should try someplace else. But where else would I be able to reap such a plentiful harvest? All my waiting has finally paid off. And it's all thanks to you, my beautiful son. The son I deserved all along. <laughs> I'll be the queen of this world. And I guess that makes you my little prince, then, doesn't it? What's with that face? Oh, don't look so sad, Rio. I've invited all my friends. They'll be here soon to celebrate with us. And I know they'll want to thank you for the wonderful harvest, too. Bed and One, the Blood Moon Festival. Refuse. No, I'm sorry, I can't do that. Pardon me. It wouldn't be right, at least not without asking first. I was always taught to respect the goddess's statue. And that only... The only drink allowed in the chalice is moonlight. Really. 
After everything I've done for you, I fed you, I housed you, I taught you, and this is how you repay me. As if I owed you any of those things, to begin with. I know, and I'm sorry, Mom. I can't do it. Then, you cannot be my child. Mom? So can we die? We are a scarecrow. Dad, dad, dad. Um, my lower torso. Dad, dad, dad. Rio, was that you? Goodness, Rio. Dad. Rio, how did this happen? Your, your legs are... Dad, sh she's... Be quiet, Rio. It's okay now. As for you... Stay away from my son. Dad. You, that magic. It was supposed to be for the festival. What are you talking about? The festival. Oh, Rio, don't worry about silly fireworks. You're more important than anything like that. Rio! Are you... How do you feel? I'm okay, Dad. I can't feel anything. It doesn't hurt. And the benefit of being a scarecrow. That's good. That's good. I'm a little scared, though. What's going to happen when the sun comes back up? It won't. I'll make sure it doesn't. <laughs> don't be silly, Dad. There's no way you could do that. Nonsense. I'll drown this world in darkness if it means keeping you safe. Dad, what should I do? You don't have to do anything. If I sleep, will I be okay? Yes, you will be. I'll make sure of it. Okay, then I think I want to go to bed now. Yes, yes, that's all right. Good night, Rio. I love you. You'll see me in the morning. Bed in two. The sun won't come out tomorrow. Hidden in the fog, in addition to the numbers of the night. If I like to get to the right, get right, then I'd be able to unlock it. Hidden in the fog. 6428 plus 616? 7044? It was. All right, what's in here? There seems to be a collection of books in the chest. They're all in the children's books, things like educational books and fairy tales. Opening up the covers, you see the library signature. Whoa, these are way past overdue. There's no at the bottom of the pile. If you read this, and I know you can read this, don't even think about it. Put them back before I burn them. Jeez, okay, I guess we'll be taking any of these. You dropped something. This is a key, but no one couldn't possibly go to. Could it? The key has to go here, right? The door's unlocked. Hey, you're here. Oh, hi, kid. How'd you get in here? You dropped your key. Huh. <laughs> you got me. This used to be my old room. Then does that mean you're Ingram? The person who wrote in those books? Yeah, that's me. So you were mom's son. Her, uh, other son? Yeah, I feel like you're coming to this revelation over and over again. Oh, sorry, uh. Why are you here? I come by every now and again to collect some old stuff of mine. Not that I had a lot to begin with, but... It's not easy to carry things as little as I am right now. I see. Well, go ahead and look around, kid. I know you're curious. An old journal sits on the floor. Um, am I allowed to read this? Go ahead. Maybe it'd be better if you do. Winter. It hasn't snowed yet. That makes me happy. It means I can keep going into town. I used to hate going to town because of all the scarecrows. Honestly, they still freak me out. It's like they're peering into me and grilling their eyes into my very being. They know I don't belong. But despite that, they don't make me feel sick. Not at all. Not like they do to you. I guess the way you make me go into town instead, huh? Nah, I think even if they did make me sick, you'd force me to go anyways. Spring. I saw Miss B for the first time in a while today. She told me I got so much taller from the last time she saw me. She said she missed seeing me at the library. I was always one of her best students. I learned so quickly. She said she remembered helping me learn to write my name. She started getting a little emotional about it. I did too. 
learning how to write was probably the best thing that ever happened to me. Even if it comes with its own consequences at home. That reminds me. I saw a woman in town get mad at her kid today. Outside the bookstore. He was whining and screaming, making all sorts of noise. And she clearly had enough. You could see in her face she was mad. But she didn't hit him. Summer. She said I was late coming back from town today. And I wasn't. And I brought her everything she needed, so she had no reason to get so angry. But by this point, I understand she doesn't need a reason to be angry. She locked me in the storage room all night for looking at her wrong. I'm sure she thinks it's punishment. But it's not like my room is that much bigger than the storage room to begin with. She's been getting a lot easier to piss off lately, though. I'm not sure why, but it worries me. It's the only reason I'm still here. Getting older. It's apparent now more than ever that somebody has to keep an eye on her. If only I were strong to do something about it. Autumn. I know what she wants to do now. I know she'll try to make me do it. I refuse. These are people, not her playthings. And certainly not her food. And they've been more of a family to me than she ever was. Too many times now I listened to her because I was afraid. But this is bigger than me. And I won't let her have her way. I'm not going to help her do what she wants. This is the last straw. I'm running away. I'm going to town. I'm going to tell everybody what she's planning. I'm not afraid anymore. Old bed. It's covered in dust. Where's the rest of it? What do you mean? There's no rest of it. That's all I wrote. But you talk about how you're going to run away. What happened after that? What happened? She caught me. That's what happened. That's why I'm stuck like this. She knew I'd try to tell everyone, so she cursed me to stay trapped in my bird form forever. I'm way too small to do anything like this. Not a lot of people listen to the warnings of a silly little bird like me. But you still told me. Yeah, because a kid like you need to hear it the most. With me out of the picture. You were exactly the kind of person she needed. Still, I... I don't know if I can believe all this. Mom was always so nice, and she... Your curse. Is there a way to reverse it? Heh. <laughs> yeah. But it ain't that easy. What is it? Maybe I can help. Not unless you're an expert in sawing the arms off crone women. Huh? Only way to reverse this curse is to drink the blood of a family member. You! Curse this half-bird child, and grateful is he. If he wishes to fly away, then only a bird he shall be. Drain the sap and blood from your family tree, and just said once, and only then you'll be free. I'll never forget it. Ain't that stupid dorky rhyme. But she set up this way, knowing that if I ever get close enough to attempt it, she'd crush me easily. Do you want me to try some of my straw? It might work. Point of me? I mean, if she's my mom and she's your mom, then that makes us brothers. It might look like this, well, I know. Kind of seems like every part of me is made of straw. My hair, my blood, heck, probably my bones, too. So maybe if you eat some of my straw, it'll work the same way. You're joking, right? I mean, it might not work, but... Is it at least worth trying? It's just straw. The worst that could happen is you ate some hay. Hey, come on. Try it. All right, screw it. Give me a straw. Ugh! Come on, isn't that hard to eat? I used to eat leaves all the time before Dad told me to stop. Okay, what the... It worked! Holy hell, it did work. Come on, kid. Let's get you out of here. Hey, 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 I can't leave yet. You got a nice coat. I like your, I like your fur, like, uh... It's not fur, it's like feather lining. Mama's still waiting for me out there. No, it could be fur. Can't really tell. Feathers would make more sense in context. Ugh, you don't want that woman as your mom, kid. I just see that by now. Look what she did to me the second I said no to her. What do you think is gonna happen to you? Lose my legs. Stop yelling so much. Even... Even if... Even if Mom is as nice as I thought, does that really mean I can't just leave? She harvests bones, kid! Of course you can. I'm giving you an out right now. How about the window? We'll go back to the town. Leave this old witch to run in the woods by herself. But she's waiting for me out there. She harvests bones. <sighs> Should've known you'd be difficult about this. I'm trying to save you from my fate. Or hell, even worse. But of course you wouldn't get it. You're just a kid. Yeah, and you're just a teenager. Ugh. Damn, you're right. Being a teenager sucks. Besides, isn't trying to run away exactly how you got caught? Jeez, kid. All right, I get it. What are you going to do then? She's going to ask you to do something out there for her, you know. It's harvest night and she's been planning for it. We try to refuse her. Just accept it and just walk away. And just like, all right, check this thing in the trash. I'll figure something out. I'm a smart kid, after all. And Mom, maybe it won't be as bad as you think. Don't place your bets on it. 
I'll be waiting for you outside. Whatever you do, get out that front door safely, all right? Sabotage. Sure, I'll take it. Let me just... Oh, I dropped it. I'm sorry, Mom, it was an accident. But it is all that bad. I'll just go back home and tell everyone to take the scarecrows down, and then we get... You dropped it. I know, I know. You dropped it on purpose. Do you think I'm stupid? See, you should've just taken it, left the house. It'd been like, all right. Like I said, just chug it in a trash can. No, of course I don't. I'm just... Outrageous. All my children know how to do is disappoint me. Mom? Huh? I'm... Nice try. Get out of here, kid. Don't just sit there, go! I'm gonna take care of it. You. Look at you doing what you know best. Getting in my way. You always were a disappointment to me, Ingram. Not gonna see him anything. Not even to your own mother. You can't scare me anymore. That's the real reason you cursed me, isn't it? Because you knew you couldn't scare me anymore. And when I'm not scared, I'm stronger than you. Ha! Huh. We'll see about that. You know, Ingram, despite all the heartache you caused me, I'm still a parent. The hell? What are you doing? Get your ugly claws out of my mouth. Did it make you feel better to say that? You happy now? It'd be hard for you to see. But I am a mother, and there's nothing a mother loves more than to see her children happy. So won't you do your poor lady some good, and smile for mommy? Oh god. Dad! Dad, I was hanging out with a witch, and the witch turned out to be an actual, like, evil witch, and like, she harvests bones, and she was gonna curse the town and turn you all into meat puppets, and like, this is all totally my fault. Come on, Dad, wake up! Wake up, my friend needs help! Mm, real? Is it morning already? I could have sworn. Real? What is this? You, you weren't supposed to. I know, I know, I wasn't supposed to go out at night. I'm sorry, I'm really, really sorry about. But my friend, he's in trouble and he needs help. If we don't hurry, she might. No. Well, you have claws too. I. took. care of it. She can't. Hurt anyone. Any, many more. But if it's not too much to ask, I. I do need help. Gods. With a little. something else. We're gonna be the Scar Club. Because the dad's got like a scar too. And then, I mean, we're a scarecrow. We're nothing but stitches. Yeah, so this is a sweet festival, you know, especially like nice to come here after, you know, like fighting my mom and like get my face cut up and like maybe possibly killing her or at least mortally wounding her. But yeah, sweet festival. What are you smiling about? Can you see the fireworks? Rapping we had to survive last night with our asses still intact. <laughs> All my friends may have moms, but none of them have a big brother like I do. <laughs> yeah, they're brothers. I don't really think I can tell that at this point. I'm sure anyone can see the family resemblance. I mean, look at us. We've got the same smile, don't we? True end. A smile to match my own. Good job. You managed to avoid slaughtering the entire town. Thank you for playing. So that's it for Crow Scare. So this is part of, I'm not sure if it's like an actual universe name, but I believe this creator is all their games that take place in the same universe, or at least alternate versions of the same universe. Uh, I think Cemetery Mary is one of them. There's another like Halloween themed one, not as like gory as this one, I suspect. And then you have, you know, it's not me, it's my basement. And they have like a kind of high school visual novel uh, thing they're working on that's not finished, I believe. I kind of think of this universe as like 
Halloween Town. It just seemed kind of seems like it because everyone's either like a vampire or a scarecrow or some kind of thing, and it's just normal. Like it's just that's just how it is out here. No, overall, it's a solid RPG maker horror game. There's like little two ends of this, in, in my opinion. Anyway, it's um, on one hand, it's uh, the main character is kind of very naive. I mean, that's the point of the story. So it's kind of like you see you see the train wreck coming, right? And you're just like, stop it. It's like you're watching a horror movie. Stop. It's it's a literal, you know, it's a bone harvesting, blood harvesting, which it's not, it's not the ever thing. But at the same time, it's kind of nice that um, it was just, you know, a monster, evil thing. Because sometimes the the, the reverse was like, oh, we're actually the good guys is also never cliche. I think they did that with um, one of the recent Beleficent movies. So once again, like I said, it was nice. It was just, yeah, it, it's just straight. Like, yeah, she, you know, she's evil. You made a terrible mistake. Everyone's dead. And then we have a happy ending. You know, we have an actual happy ending option. It works out for everybody except for the witch, I guess. I don't know if she's dead or if she's just, she's just wounded enough where she's going to retreat and be like, I'm going to move somewhere else. So we have all our pieces. We have the little bit of edginess, a little bit of horror, and we have a little bit of like happiness, catharsis kind of aspect. Anyway, so thank you all for watching me play Crow Scare. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.